Hi guys, got a little project in mind based on gyro stabilisation. The plan is to use a cheap toy motorbike like this, bought this from the bargain store, or 99p store as it happens, um, and the idea is to stick a gyro stabiliser on it and see if we can make it go along without falling over. Um, this one cheats at the moment. It's got a couple of extra wheels there, a little friction motor on it. But obviously without those it wouldn't be stable. That's not particularly free running, might have to work on that. But the idea will be to take that off, take that motor out, and fit some sort of gyro in there to see if we can get it to balance. Now, I've been looking at various toys that have got gyros on them. These things. I don't think that will be big enough. I even ordered a gyro off eBay but it was rather smaller than I'd hoped when it arrived. And this one even plays a tune, which is totally unnecessary. Which way up to go? That way. So, um, I don't know if that one's going to be big enough either. It looks like it might fit with a bit of work if I saw a few bits out. But I just don't know if it's got enough mass to stabilise the bike as it's going along. And now that I've tried spinning those wheels, <laughs> they're rubbish. Yeah, I do at least need them to spin freely. Now that I've taken this out of the box, I'm a bit disappointed with it. That looks like that's a non-starter anyway. I've got another one in the box somewhere. I'll go and have a look, see if I can dig it out. Alright, that took a bit of digging. Found it eventually. Slightly more promising. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> so how about that one then instead? Doesn't look quite so convenient for fitting the dynamo in. Dynamo. Gyro. Wheels spin a bit freer though. if I could work on these wheels and make them spin a bit better. That looks like that's a Phillips screw through there that I could undo it and try and clean it. 
Certainly I prefer the shape of this one because it looks like I can get the chrome shaped, chrome coloured bits out of it. Let's take it apart and find out. Well that wasn't too bad, I just undid the screw and cleaned up the swarf left over from the original casting. And that now runs nice and free. probably do the same with the back wheel but that's doesn't seem too bad. Probably will do though. Right, we'll now see if we can get rid of these chrome bits to make space for the gyro. easy enough. When I'm making progress it won't surprise anybody to know that I've used hot glue to position the gyro. So I shall pop that back in place in a minute but I'll need to melt a hole in it go through. Or I might just leave it off entirely. We're in the kitchen for a test run. I have already tested it and I'm afraid it's a fail. Um, I just don't think this gyro's got enough mass to counteract the weight of the motorbike falling over. But I'll demonstrate, and I apologise for the music it plays. I've got no choice in that. So, failure. As I said at the beginning, that, that gyro's just not big enough. There's not enough mass there to um, help to balance the motorbike, even though I've stripped the motorbike right down. Um, it's not going to work. We'll have to think of something else. But I'll upload this video just so you can see that I have actually tried. You can actually feel it's got some stabilisation there. There's a resistance to me turning it. So I think the general idea is right, but the um, I haven't achieved it. Maybe next time. <laughs>